above all names. For you, my king, with everything I will shout for your praise. Amen. I went to Africa in February. It's kind of how God spoke to me about my life change and just this whole thing. I'm here to tell you that Africa is everything you think it is. Uh, you see what you think you're going to see. It's hard to look at. I didn't really feel changed. I know that sounds really awful. They took us to a, a Ugandan church service. And we're in this shuttle van type thing. And I could hear the music down the street as we're driving in. And I just began to feel the spirit of God and something was happening in me, you know. And I hadn't felt that change yet. And everyone else on the trip had, which was me just tattooed and cynical. We're riding in this van and we get there and it's a place about double the size of this made out of mud. And there's about 2,000 Ugandans. Just, just the presence of God there was the realest. Like it was there and I just began to sob and I'm standing there. Uh, this is just a few months ago so I'm trying to hold myself together and I just begin to sob and I said, God, why, why can't I experience this? Why can't we as Americans experience this? Why can't, when I get on a stage and play music, why doesn't it work this way? What's the problem? And I felt God say to me, Aaron, these people are worshiping me for one reason. They lift their hands and they worship Jesus because He is. No more, no less, just because He exists. It says in Hosea 6.6 6, that more than our sacrifice and more than our, our I'm sorry, and more than our, our, I promise, God wants to know us. He wants to be in communion with us. So I guess for me, I want my life just to be an outpouring of that. You know, I was in under oath for 13 years. And uh, I would say for me, the majority of it was spent on my own personal gain. I would say that I wanted to be in a huge band. And, and under oath is huge. And I did everything I could to get to that position. And I blew a lot of chances on every continent of this rock. To speak the name of Jesus and I look back on it now and I you know I don't regret it because you know I think under have helped a lot of people and still does but for me I wasn't living out that call I encourage you if you've got a chance to speak the name of Jesus do it but I didn't for 13 years whatever part of this world you came from whatever state whatever country <clears throat> I want you to know that Jesus loves you very much